Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. We're gonna unbox something today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. All right, so I worked at the paper all day today. And I had all these ambitions to come home and do all this stuff, and I did. Except I got, like, bogged down in computer work because my computer decided it needed to update again. I'm trying to work while it's doing the update. You know, it's just, like, forever. And then I was going to paint a table, and now I don't want to because <laughs> it's late in the day. But you know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to unbox my Christmas present from my husband. It's a good one. <laughs> I asked for this. I'm very excited about it. You want to see it? It's a two-inch bench top miter saw. It's a little tiny miter saw. So that when I have the small projects that I have, I don't have to go get the giant miter saw out. <laughs> I could be more excited. Plus, it's just so stupid. Look at it. This is... We're going to open it up. We're going to try it. It is directions. Look. Like I can lift it with one hand. No, I can't. It's heavy. It's heavier than I thought. Oh, what's that for? Okay, so that's that. Mm -hmm. It's a clamp and an Allen wrench, like that tiniest little Allen wrench. Two of Allen wrenches. What do I have to do with that? Read the directions. You have to read the directions. Yeah, turn off the saw blade before you touch it. Mounting holes, because I can I can put it I could put it permanently on a desk like a work surface. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Number twenty three is the clamp. What's the twenty three? It says it's a clamp. What do I do with the clamp? Never stand on the tool. It literally says never stand on the tool. Right there. Well, darn, because I was going to use it as a stepladder. Never stand on the tool. Okay. My foot is bigger than the tool. We're going to open it. Get it out of here. Untying this. I'm not going to keep it. And it's bungee down. Where's the blade? Oh, oh, there's the blade. A little blade. Okay. All right. I need a scissor. right open on me. Hmm. Well, that's probably not good, huh? Um, oh. Hmm. So it locks open. Do I have to have something like... Oh, the, the wood. It takes the safety off. I don't have anything to cut right now. We're trying something. Let's see. Let's, let's cut an angle. So here's my little new miter saw. It's the cutest little thing ever. Let's do this. I assume you undo this. Just like a regular miter saw. We're going to do 45. Kind of. 
I can't move the safety out of the way. So where does this go? Oh, oh, the button up here removes the safety. All right, so there we go. One second, I gotta figure this out. <laughs> now I'm hating it now. Now it's not working. Put it down. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Come on. I might, I might broke it. I might break it. I didn't break it. I didn't break it. No. Why are you not tightening down now? Bet there's a screw missing. <laughs> no, I got it. All right. Don't loosen that too far. As if you do. You'd like to never get that thing back on there. What if this was bolted down and I did that? Oh, I'd have been pissed. I'd have been pissed. Okay, so that's how you do that. But, but this is not light enough to get anything in there. Kinesthetic learning. Not only that, but there's no real directions. I don't know. Let's just cut something. I just want to cut something. Here's my little safety button that moves the thingy thingy back here. So that you can actually put it down. Right? So here's my on off switch. It's not plugged in yet. So this thing opens up, right? And moves apart, which then would indicate that something should be able to sit in there. But of course, this is too wide to go in there. So that's not going to work. Which then, would I be able to cut a 45? No, I'm not even going to cut all the way through. If I did this, I mean, I'm going to cut it, but I'm not going to cut it all the way through. What? It doesn't even go all the way down. Which, I mean, wouldn't go all the way through this. Still stops right here so it doesn't go all the way through huh that don't seem right now do it I don't know what it's supposed to cut off because it's a pretty thin piece of wood and it's not even gonna reach the wood now so when I move this all the way back Damn you, Harbor Freight. I don't think it's going to work. I don't... It's not going to work. I mean, it's clearly stopping before it hits the wood. Well, I'm not happy.
and that doesn't go all the way through. Interesting. Should I adjust the blade? Does the blade adjust? No, the blade doesn't adjust. That's a really sharp blade, by the way. Yep, I'm gonna take a finger off. Well, screw it, we're turning it on. We're trying something, we're cutting something. We're cutting something. Oh! It is unaffected. I have a block of wood. Yeah. Now wait till it gets up to speed. Okay, it's got to be thick, and you're going to have to flip it. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet cut. <laughs> I have no idea what I could possibly use this on now. I thought it would go, like, cut small stuff like this. Evidently, no. It's got to cut big stuff like this. Ugh, I'm not good at angles. Did I just do this? I just did this, right? Okay, well, it's working. Mm. I mean, hang on, let me unplug it before I accidentally hurt myself. Yes, I am the person who will stop the belt sander like this. Because I'm stupid sometimes. Um, It's not going to work for what I wanted it to work for, which is like cutting little things like this, but it's going to work. It works. I mean, it's, that's a pretty sweet cut. <laughs> it's a really clean cut. But you have to be able to flip it over and it meet in the middle. So, thickness-wise, I mean, that's probably what? Maybe half an inch. So, total one inch thickness is all you could cut with it. Does it even say? It says two inch. No, I doubt very much that this is going to cut two inches because this is like, you can see where it stopped here. Well, this one looks like it went deeper. Now that's the first one I cut and that's the second one I cut. The angles looks like it cuts like half an inch. That's like half an inch. There's no way that is a two inch cut. Well, anyway, I now have this to keep in mind for like, I don't even know what I'm going to use it for, but it did cut through that like butter, didn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty surprised because I mean, it's pine. It smells good. I like cutting pine. Um, so it's not, that wasn't a super duper hard wood, but what I was also thinking was like, uh, trim pieces to do like trim out pictures and stuff like that. 
But now I'm wondering if I'm going to have to figure out angles. Because <laughs> I was like one solid cut. I can do a 45. And then cut it through. It's then when you got to flip it over. I'm like, okay, now it's a math thing. And then my brain just goes, I can't do it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But anyway, that's my Christmas present from my husband. I'm super excited about it. You know what else I was really excited about? My mother-in-law got me tickets to see Pink. I was like, this is not real, right? I still can't even believe I'm going. I can't believe I'm going. <laughs> that was on my bucket list. I was like, I really can't. Oh, I want to see Pink. And I'm, I want to see Pink while she's in her heyday. Because I went and saw Madonna on the downslope. And it made me sad. Because she sang uh, Like a Virgin in French in the form of Edith Piaf. And it made me want to kill her. It made me not like her anymore. I get tired of singing the same song. All of yeah, well, you know what? It was my one and only time to see you in concert. Now you ruined it. You just wrecked it. I don't care how many times you have to sing that damn song. I effing paid for your kid to go to school. I paid for you to adopt all those children. I did. You owe me like a virgin in English. I like to remix it and do it. In a... No. Do not take my favorite song, anyone's favorite song, and do it differently. No. We want to hear you sing it live. Don't make me regret that you didn't drug overdose. Just saying. That's probably mean. I don't even care. I just don't. Anyway, I get to see Pink. And she's still in her heyday. And she's not going to sing like Edith Piaf. Edith Piaf. No one likes Edith Piaf. And if they do, they're just pretentious. That's all I have for you guys today. <laughs> I was in a bad mood today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for watching me unbox my Christmas gift. Thank you to my husband for my wonderful little Christmas gift. It took me a hot second to figure it out, though. But it really does sort of slide across the desk, doesn't it? I'm not screwing it down, though, because if that net comes out again, you can't get it out. You have to take the whole thing off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy Jenkin. Bye! Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.